situation with Shea Weber. So the follow-up question to that via Facebook, our discussions with Brian Suter and Ben Marino. Wow. Uh, Brian is here, by the way, today. We're going to see him again. Uh, Ryan, Ryan is here on the concourse uh, after this. Uh, in, I think in order, you uh, need to get Shea done first, and then we'll, we'll go from there. Again, conversations with, uh, with Ryan, and the same with, with Shea. I mean, yeah, they're committed to, to, to being here. I mean, these are just, uh, I don't mean to say just, it's difficult, but just negotiations. And uh, once we get that done, I mean, Brian certainly sees as I do this window of opportunity. We've discussed that. He believes in it. Uh, I, I think if I was to talk to, to Shea and Ryan separately, they both believe that they it couldn't get a better defense partner uh, that they have. So again, uh, let's get Shea done, and then we'll talk to, uh, to Ryan, and then we'll talk to Becca. All right. Uh, is there a status report on potential ownership partners? Uh, we really have been uh, spending our time, as, as you may have read, uh, getting our senior debt refinanced, which we did, uh, thanks to Regions Bank and several local banks who really stepped up to help us with that. Essentially solidifying the financial position of the team. We're about now, since the summer's over, because we can't find anybody to talk to this time of year, uh, we're going to go out and uh, we're going to raise another 20 or $25 million dollars of equity. In other words, people who invest in the team just to be owners and that will replace debt because equity doesn't have interest with it. Um, and so we lower the interest costs of the team. We get that done, this team is, is here forever. There's no, uh, uh, no way that it can. Based on uh, what we did last year, what we started to do the year before, and our, our prospects for this year, uh, we are highly confident that we can get that done. It'll take us a year and a half or so to do it, and as we do it, we'll let you know, we'll give you updates on it. But we're confident we can get that done. This, this is a franchise here forever. Thank you. 
we just need something. We've got to shoot the puck more. I hear a lot of people say shoot the puck. We do. We have to have a mentality. We have to have a, 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 an attack at the net. Uh, everything can go through Shea Weber. Um, you know, they take away a shot. And I, I hear you guys. I don't hear you guys. <laughs> but, you know, it is, a, it is a process. It's part of the game and it's an important part of the game. And, and sometimes you know, that's what you need. The, the power play doesn't have to be at, at 20% every night. But it has to score important goals. And it has to come through for you at times. And a good example is the, the first series against Anaheim. If our power play is good, we don't win that series. There's no way. And they, they came through in the second series. They didn't score as much. And uh, we didn't, you know, obviously Vancouver shot us down. We shot Vancouver down. And it was a, it was a matter of interest. So it is a, 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 an opportunity for us to get a little bit better. We're going to work on that. I think we've got some good pieces. I think Kevin Sergei Gassichs for another year will help. Um, I think uh, the, the development of Blake Jeffrey on uh, the uh, there's a lot of factors, but uh, I'm going to take our, our spread our, our power play uh, around a little bit in terms of the who's going to be in charge of it, and uh, we're going to put a big effort on it from uh, as we did last year, every day we're working on it. Uh, one of these days it's going to explode and be really good for us. All right.
I think in his own mind he's, he's at the point where he's just about ready to come, come back. Again, we get into a contractual situation that he can't break there and break our contract, we can't break that one. I, I, again, if I was a betting man, which I, I'm not, I would say there's a real good chance he's going to come back a year from now. Not this year, but next year. Again, that falls perfectly in this window of walk opportunity that I'm, I'm talking about, but I'm, you know, I'm more and more sure that he's going to come back and play the best game in the world.
uh, I'll start. The uh, commissioner has um, made a decision that is going to be status quo for this year. Uh, so we uh, we stay where we are. We have the same uh, you know rivalry that we enjoy uh, and the same visitors to the same frequency from the Eastern Conference. Um, he said he wanted to take all year to study this. Uh, he has said he put together uh, a template. He's sent it to the team. He's asked us to review it, deliberate amongst ourselves, which we actually have not yet because we've been getting ready for the season. And we have a whole year on this. I'll tell you my view, uh, and, 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 and I'm mixed in this regard. I love the rivalries that we create with the Detroit Red Wings and the Chicago Blackhawks. Um, I think we created new rivalries with the Vancouver Canucks and the Anaheim Ducks. Um, and that's what long playoff runs do. They create uh, new rivalries in your division. I guarantee the Vancouver Canucks when they come here next year are going to sell more tickets than they did when they came here this year. And um, you know, I guess we'll make up some parodies of sissy t-shirts for when you know. <laughs> uh, and, and however, on the other hand, I, like you, do not like waiting until 9.30 to watch a hockey game. Uh, so, Going to the late game is just ridiculous unless you're taking your whole vacation to do it. And, and so um, I have mixed emotions. Um, I will tell you this. We're going to let hockey drive this decision internally because, yeah, yeah we want to win games. We want to win playoff rounds and we want to win championships. And eventually, David and Barry are going to have a 60% vote. Sean and I will make way in with our 50.8% of peace. And then the boss will prove her tonight. We're very dry. They just missed the pen. Okay, they sort of put out the stocking parts because it's, you can imagine every team has an opinion on who they'd like to have in their group, travel distances, and all these things. Detroit says we, we're in the Eastern time zone and you know, our games are in the West and we have bad times. And we're an old team and they can just say a story. <laughs> But they, they so, the, so the league just probably to break a log jump and start the discussion came out with a proposed schedule. They said this is not anything except our humble effort to, to start the discussion. <laughs> and the, the, the thing I liked about it was I thought the way that they did an artist, we were in good shape. I like I liked our not that we can't make it better and won't we'll lobby for that. But we, we, in, in the new schedule, we play every team in the league. Every team, every year, one home and wet. So we just get to see every team here at least once. Here, here. And the rest of it was, uh, was geographically closer. Uh, so it helps with travel to wear and tear on our team, traveling the West Coast as often as we have to some of the other things. We're a long way from finish, as Jeff said. It's just the conversations just started. It won't be in effect until the following season. Uh, Winnipeg just fit right into Atlanta's slot in the Eastern Division. <laughs> so all those teams now flying to Winnipeg. <laughs> it's, 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 NHL, it's NHL geography. Winnipeg's in the Southeast United States. <laughs> David? Well, I think the uh, NHL has an opportunity here to uh, uh, try to not to not uh, ease everybody, but to sort of listen to what everybody uh, would be helpful. I think for us, uh, I'm sort of touched on a little bit. I think a more balanced schedule might be better for us for our travel, for our competitiveness, for our, our fans. I would be, I would be for that. I think we can be maybe a little bit more creative. We right now have six divisions. Uh, I'm not opposed to going maybe to four. four Want to do or just what Detroit wants to do, but if you get a raise of opinion, maybe we can come out of this and uh, 
uh, you know, have a little bit better situation than we have right now. I think it's pretty good right now, but I think it could be good uh, uh, a tad bit. Very good. Do you have any questions? Yes, I do. Okay. <laughs> Please proceed. I just, I, I think the, the NHL is going to do what's best for for all the teams. I, I agree with everybody here. And uh, I, I don't want to see Detroit go or Chicago. I think we've got great rivalries. I, I like the uh, the lot of the four divisions that's been talked about. And uh, as long as the geography is good and you're playing everybody, I think it's great for everybody. Because as hockey players, as coaches, we play 18 games, and sometimes it is Groundhog Day because we, we're not sure what day of the week it is, uh, what city we're in sometimes, and if it's a holiday or not. Uh, it, it just really gets the to change things up and have a little bit of spice of life, having the Pittsburgh Penguins here every year, having Washington here every year, you know, things like that. So I really think the players enjoy that. They enjoy uh, the time. Sometimes there is late in the season. Guys don't want to go, you know, like we're talking about Saturdays, they, they like the afternoon games, they don't have to go on the ocean. So the more spice of life we can uh, in this league, the better. Full swing, baby. Partner, we, we accept this partner. 
paperwork that was in process and has to be reviewed by the league in great detail and it's essentially almost finished. The lease took them to be uh, a partner and a new investor and creditors sometime at the end of the summer, September, September the next.
uh, with, with Sully. Sully still got a lot of hockey left in it. Uh, again, as I kind of explained earlier, we're, we're trying to go in a certain area. We're kind of committed to handing keys over, if you will, to our younger players. And we feel that some of these guys, whether it's with these inner bird fours at age 24 versus age 37 or 38, are in much better position to help us move forward. So, again, it's not exactly uh, ever fair, if you will, to make these decisions. And again, as I say, it's not easy, but uh, it has to be done for the better of the our club, and again, I think Sully was very appreciative of his uh, seven years here in uh, Nashville, and as I said earlier, both Sully and Jake, you see the family, they're going to live here after they retire, so hopefully they'll have a good ending, and uh, you know, I certainly envision someday, you know, whenever they do retire, that they come back here and possibly do some things here for the Predators.